Good night. Energy focus for the week. Already again. Here we go. Come on in and join me for a few minutes. Time to focus our energy energetically. Look at the cosmos, what's going on, and talk about this. Talk about how we can align our energy. We'll even pull a few cards. So come on in and join me. Terry Ann Hyman here. This is my live stream broadcast for the Empowered Spirit Program. This is where we get to talk and chat about the energy focus for the week, how we're doing, and really align our energy to help us through the week. So come on in and join me. How's everybody doing tonight? We've got a pretty interesting week ahead of us. We had that full moon last week and the spring equinox and all that energy coming forward. Really beautiful time, right? Really beautiful outside today. Everything is blooming. We feel so good. We've got some of that fire energy from Aries going on. How are you feeling? Let me know. Give me some thumbs up. Give me some hearts. Let me know how you're feeling. Can you tell the energy has shifted? Were you able to balance your energy as we move through the equinox and coming into spring? Definitely a different energy vibe going on. I hope that you've been able to tell. So come on in and join me. Looking forward here on Facebook as well as Instagram Live. All right, I got a few thumbs ups. I got some hearts. Yay! Been a most interesting day. Is able to get outside. All right, here we go. I see it coming through. It always takes a little bit of time. So I'm going to share this out. I'm going to share this out in my Empowered Spirit Circle on Facebook. If you're not in the group, come on over. I'd love to invite you in. We had a really great group meditation on Wednesday. Five people got sessions coming up with me on energy clearing, Akashic clearings, which right now is a perfect time for this kind of work. Clear away the energy that isn't serving you. Clear it away. And that's really kind of what the energy is all about this week. It's all about opening up to spring. But here we are. We're at the very end of the month, last week of the month. We've got Mercury retrograde finally moving out. But really, as that moon is releasing, we want to release the same thing. Because we're probably feeling a little bit like, I want to go forward. I want to go forward. Yet, with that retrograde energy, things are being held back, right? Are you feeling that? Let me know if you're feeling that, too. All right, I'm having a little trouble sharing this out. So do me a favor, if you're watching, give it a share. All right, I'm trying to get it shared here. It seems like our connections aren't that strong. So give me a minute and you do the same. So that really is the emphasis for the week. We're going to talk about that in one second. All right, all right. Thanks for joining me. I'm over here. I got a thumbs up. I'm here on Instagram. I'm also over here on Facebook, sharing a group. Here we go. Yay. Whoops. Sharing a group. So how is the energy have you noticed for yourself? Who got outside today? Got an early hike. I went and saw a bunch of houses today. Very interesting. I have the opportunity now to move. <laughs> Very interesting time for me as well. All right. So we are in the last week of the month. All right. And we're also in that last little bit of Mercury retrograde. Now the tendency is to want to just push through. But really... The transitions, when we go direct and when we come out of it and go retrograde from retrograde to direct, that's when a lot of other things can happen. So we're not in the clear yet. So be mindful this week as you go through. I know you're probably wanting to like get out there, do some new ideas. I know I'm feeling the same way as well. But really, be mindful. Take another week just to kind of review, redo, renew the work that you're doing, noticing how it's working for you. That really is the emphasis. Monday is a good productive day, all right? If you've got some things to do, Monday's a pretty good day to do it. As you move to Tuesday, Wednesday, that's when some of that little chaos is going to start to come in, all right? With the energy of Mercury going forward, we're going to feel that shift of energy. So really, again, watch your communications. Watch how you're dealing with people. That fire energy of Aries can get to be a bit much. It really can. So careful with that, all right? Really, try not to move too fast. I know we all want to get outside. The days are definitely getting longer. Things are blooming. And I know we want to, like, get out there and play and have fun. But really, we have to kind of take it easy, all right? Still try to be mindful. Go into your meditation. Spend a little extra time there so that you can ease into the season. Don't feel the frustrations going forward. And that's going to be what's going to help you really, as you're moving through this week. That's probably the most important thing. So Friday too, 
Monday's a good productive day. Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, things are going to start to shake up. Friday, we're going to still start to feel some things moving forward as you move out. All right, and then Saturday, we have a nice weekend ahead with some really kind of calming energy that'll be great. And then we'll just really go full forward as we go into April, getting out of the retrograde energy and moving forward with things that are going Friday, on for you as well. So... I think that it's important that we understand where we are in the cycle as the moon is releasing. We're getting ready again to let this go, to really kind of move forward. So the thing that we look for in this kind of time frame right now is like, what is blocking you? What is getting in your way? And can you, can you open up to let some of that stuff go? The, the uh, full moon from Libra that we had this week on Wednesday that really is asking us to find that balance, that internal balance first and foremost, and it's going to come around again next month so that we can then look at the external relationships and that balance that we have as well. So the thing that comes up for me, which is partly because of that Chiron energy, we've talked about that Chiron is moving, is that what are some of the things that you've been working on through the winter? Like what has been healing for you? We all go through stuff, right? We all go through issues. What has been healing for you? And as you begin to go through that, it's like really trying to let it go. Let it go. Don't hang on to the past. Don't use the past to judge your 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 abilities to go forward. And I know the tendency is to do that. I know I do too. I know as I'm going out there looking for houses and stuff, you know, some fear can come in. But really, if you can approach your situations or what's going on, if you can approach it from a more neutral standpoint, if you can approach it from being able to really being in that present energy, that's what's going to be most helpful. So one of the techniques that I like to work with and teach, one of my really favorite techniques is the Hopalpona. It's a forgiveness technique and the energy from that Libra energy coming forward of that full moon can help you to do that because it is asking you to seek the balance in your life. So the whole pull opponent is just a beautiful technique, and we'll do a little bit in our meditation today. It really is, because basically you're talking to forgiving yourself, nobody else. It's not making anybody else right or anything. It's only really about focusing on forgiving yourself, right? Just forgiving yourself. You just weren't conscious of what was going on. We don't have to hold on and suffer with it, all right? We can let it go. So when we use the phrase, forgive me, I'm sorry, Thank you. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for this lesson. I love you. Even just the I love you. Talk to yourself. How often do we talk to ourselves with that? I love you. Those are the four phrases we use in the Hopoopona. And that's what's going to help release that energy, dissolve it away, and raise the vibration so that you can move forward into spring, really feeling that refreshed energy. Really important that we do that. It really can be most helpful for all of us. All right, so that's kind of the energy we want to work with this week. A couple of the crystals and stones that I like to do this, one of my most favorite for this time of year is carnelian. All right, carnelian, it's got this orange energy. It's second chakra energy is really well as well, passions, desires. But there really is something about the healing energy that carnelian can offer you. It really is. It's a great stone to use. You can wear it in jewelry. You can use it in stones. You can keep it in your pockets. Really good. It really is a good stone. The other one I use at this time of year, I love too, that yellow energy, the citrine, that self-power. It's also good for abundance, prosperity as you put your energy out there. Those are two of my favorite. So find some jewelry with it or carry it with you in your pocket or place it on your altar or place it on your intention list. These are good ways to help you move through this energy using the forgiveness, using that energy to help you heal and move forward and be stronger in the work that you do. All right, so those are some of the emphasis as we work to the releasing energy of that full moon that we really want to help ourselves open up, be more present with who we are, be more in that present tense versus carrying all the other stuff from the past. All right, so we're going to look to the cards in a minute, but let's just take a moment and center our energies and we'll offer a little bit of that whole pull And again, you're offering it to yourself. It's nobody else's. It's your energy, your consciousness, your inner child, yourself that you're working with. And that's going to help you to come about it in a more present energy. Very powerful. All right. So let's begin wherever you are, if you can, just for a moment. Take a nice deep inhale. And just exhale away. Letting go of the day. Calling back your energy from the week. Call it back all the many parts that have been scattered around. Feel yourself centering by feeling the feet flat on the floor. If you can, just close your eyes for a moment. And just take a nice deep inhale. 
and exhale. Send the breath down as you center your energy. And just call in your higher self, the wise higher self. Imagine it aligning right on top of the crown. Feel your energy coming in. Feel that spiritual body right on top of the physical body. Shoulders and shoulders, hips and hips, feet and feet. Bring that alignment in. Allow yourself to settle and center to balance. Taking another deep inhale. And exhale. Sending the breath all the way down deep into the earth. As we take this moment and honor where we are, right here in the very beginning of spring, we shift the directions and the medicine wheel we have now shifted to the direction of the east, where the sun rises, where we have new beginnings, where we plant those seeds of intentions, align with those intentions for you as we anchor in these directions to the east, the south, the west, and the north, above us, below us, right into the very center, touching into your spirit, to that power that is within you. Continue the breath up the spine and just exhale, sending it all the way back down, deep into the earth, opening the breath, inhaling and exhaling, sending it back down, deep into the earth. And just taking a moment and offering yourself a bit of gratitude for taking this time. Offer yourself a bit of forgiveness for whatever it is that you've been struggling with, working with, upset with yourself with. Just offer yourself a little bit of forgiveness. Allow yourself to be sorry. Say, thank you. I'm sorry. Please forgive me. I love you. And offer that love right into the very core of who you are to yourself, your inner child. Very healing. Inhaling. And again, thank you, I'm sorry, please forgive me, I love you. Several times, I love you, I love you, it's not selfish, it's a beautiful way to honor that inner part of who you are, the consciousness within you. Just take another breath and feel your energy coming into being very present in this moment. Allow yourself to open up to your intentions free and present, as we say in Reiki, just for today. Letting go of everything else, honoring that part of you. I love you. Thank you. Thank you. Please forgive me. I'm sorry. Thank you. Inhaling and exhaling. Feeling your energy pulling in. Feeling that strength that comes forward as you release the burdens of the past. Opening up clearly to the week that is ahead. Taking a nice deep inhale and exhale, sending the breath down deep into the earth, bringing that awareness back, blinking the eyes that back open, coming back. The Ho'oponopono is a beautiful technique. You can Google it if you'd like more information or reach out. I'd love to share more about it. It's a very powerful technique that can really help you to release some of the burdens, some of the struggles that we hold on to. All right, so we're working with the wild unknown. Some cards that have come forward today. If you didn't choose a card, if you'd like, pick the number between one, two, or three. And we'll move forward and look at these cards now. So the first card that comes up is the Four of Cups. A very interesting card. You see that rat on it? The rat on the cup. So this card reminds us to not be so greedy in our life, to really value this is that appreciation. Really value what we have. Some people can look at you and go, oh my God, you have everything. What are you complaining about? Right? Because you can be living in all of what you don't have instead of what you do have. So this reminds us of that card. Gratitude is a sinning emotion. When we can honor what we do have, that's how we build the energy. So as you go through this week, think about it for yourself. Being really grateful for all your many blessings, for all the emotions that you have, for all those really things that are in your life so that you can grow that energy and manifest forward. All right, when we work at what we don't have, we manifest lack. So we don't want to do that as we move into the spring. So the influences for this card, one, two, or three, the first one that came forward is the two of pentacles. All right, this card is about change. It is about change. It is about finding that balance. And being that it's pentacles, all right, pentacles is our earth, our money. So perhaps there's a change in your job, in your work, how you're working, or even a move. That's good for me. But look at the butterfly. Butterflies also represent transformation. 
So where can you find the balance to move through those changes, to be grateful like that butterfly is when it spreads its wings? And spring is great for spreading wings, right? For opening up. All right, so as you offer the gratitude for your life, you can find the balance, which is what Libra energy is about, right? We talked about that with the full moon, to move forward, to make changes in your work, your home, or perhaps the way in which you're bringing in money. All right, that's the first card. So find the balance to make those changes you need. The second card is the fool. So this card is asking you to make that step forward. All right, it's not about being foolish, but it's about having the innocence in your life to make a change. All right, I know this right now. Change can be hard. I can sit here and struggle myself, and sometimes I do. Luckily, I tap. I tap a lot. Let go. Resistance to change. Stay with the flow. And that's what this card reminds us of. Taking that next step forward. The beautiful yellows and oranges being in your power to make those changes. Don't let anybody talk you out of what you want to do, for especially when it comes from your spirit. Everybody's fears can come forward and you make a change in your own, too. So you have to be careful with that. And have some innocence in your life, all right, to make the change that you need at this time. All right, I love it. The little new little check for spring, perfect timing, right? And the third card that comes forward today, if you chose three, is the Seven of Pentacles. All right, I like this card. This card is about taking a step back. It's our pentacles, so like look at your work. Look how it's building. But I love this because look at the intersection. So take a step back and how are things coming together for you? Are they working? Are they not? Where can you shift your energy? All right. Sevens are also our spiritual number, right? In numerology, seven is spirituality. So allow your spirit to look in there for you as well. Allow your spirit to answer some of these questions. All right. Get out of the logical mind. So how is your work coming together? Are you noticing how you're building your work, your craft? Take a step back. And this will definitely help you make those shifts, especially after next week, after we get out of the retrograde. All right, so just to review, the four, which is our emphasis for this week, is really being grateful for what you have. All right, this is a good card to really go into for that retrograde energy, the end of it, slowing down, not getting into the lack, wanting more, that, even though you already have so much. All right, really offering that gratitude for the many things in your life, especially as we go to balance and make changes, especially in the spring season. So the first card was the two of pentacles. There's definitely change coming forward. Balance your energy as you tap into that infinite potential. Work change, money change, home change. All right, spread your wings. Open up to that transformation. Gratitude is going to help you do that. Take a chance. This is the second card. Take that next step. All right, have the innocence for your life and the power. I love the yellow and the orange. Have that power to know who you are to step forward and make those changes. All right? And then the seven of pentacles. Take a step back. Retrograde energy again before we last of the week. Take a step back. Look at how your life is building. Look at the intersections of how things are coming together and look at your spiritual practice as well to help you answer these questions. All right, we have some great advice as we move forward for this week. Again, it is a time of transformation. We do have another week of retrograde energy. Go deep. That retrograde started in Pisces. Go deep into your soul and ask these questions. Review, renew, really bring forward that spiritual practice for you because that fire energy is going to take off next week after next week. First of April, it's going to take off. We're going to be outside. The days are getting longer. You're going to want to put all that energy into your new projects. So take the time this week. Don't be in a hurry. Make your to-do list and be productive in that kind of way. Don't jump too fast, all right? Find the balance. Again, balance is really important. On the podcast this week, it dropped yesterday. I offered a meditation, working with both hemispheres of the brain, a breath meditation to help you balance the energies so that you can do this. And you can. We just have to get out of the chatter of the mind. We just have to get out of that other part that seems to want to take over all the time. So finding the tools, whether it's tapping, I like to do tapping and the Hopoopona. I love the Hopoopona. Let me know if you'd like some more information. I can post it. All right, so coming up, I am going to be teaching, if you want to learn more on how to read the cards for the Wild Unknown, if you're in the Birmingham area, I'm going to be teaching at Beacon Yoga, beautiful studio, all right, April 6th, it's a great workshop, 101, if you've never had experience or you want to learn the Wild Unknown, come over, and then the advanced level will be at the end of the month, we'll have practice time in all of that as well, all right, 
Birmingham Yoga, I'm going to talk, oh, we're going to talk about this, we're going to have Movie Night, April 13th, The Movie Heal, excellent documentary, really good, we want to share with the community, so look for more information on that as well. All right, this Wednesday, I will be live in the Empowered Spirit Group, offering Akashic Clearings again, Group Energy, and all you have to do is fill out my form on what you experienced, and then you can get a private clearing with me. I've got several coming up, I've had a busy week, but I promise I, I will respond to those that did, and offer you this all right let me know if you'd like a reading let me know if you'd like a card all right i'm going to just check here and see thank you guys for joining me seeing everybody come in aren't my flowers beautiful yay thank you mr wolf yes all right i see you're here all right who else who would like a card i'm not so sure my facebook is working too well but i am over here on instagram let me know if you'd like a card yep thumbs up let me know if you'd like a card today Hey, Mary, see you. You want a card? Hey, Jackie, how's everything going? All right. There we go. I think I'm back on here. All right. Yes. All right, Jackie, she'll take one. I'm refreshing my Facebook feed. All right. Hi, Mary, you too. All right, Jackie, we got the Ace of Cups. All right, new beginnings. Really nice for you to have this energy. Renew the energy with yourself, with the love that you have for yourself and all that you're doing. All right, open your heart to you. Hopopona, I love you, I love you, I love you. That's one of the best ways I can offer you right now. And this card is about that. New love, I like to say first with yourself, but maybe you can bring in some new romance as well as you open up to that spring energy. All right, excellent. Still working. Costa Rica is coming. All right, good for you. All right, let's see. Who else? All right, Mayor, Layla. Millie and then Maris. All right, Mayor, here you go. Mayor, we got the moon. Keep practicing your intuition. Really listen. Trust the gut. Really align with that energy. All right, get out of the logical mind. I know you get into a little finance and all, but get out of that logical mind. Get into that meditation practice you were talking about. Really open up to the intuitive energy. That's where your power is, okay? Go there. Yes, look for ways all week that you could do that. All right, Layla, got some hearts on that one. The High Priestess. I love this card because that's a really a master of your energy, a master of your spiritual knowledge. Really align with that. You've got the world here. You've got the moon there. Own it. All right, so if you feel like you've been a little bit underneath yourself, come out. Own it. Own that mystical powers that we have, the mystic schools. Really, maybe it's time to like do a little refresher course in a modality or, or really study a little bit more, right? That, that retrograde Pisces energy is calling you to do that, but really own that part of who you are, all right? All right, Millie. Hey, Millie. Dr. Millie. Millie, we got the Ten of Cups. All right, so I love the Ten of Cups. This is almost like a wish card. This is like there's so much just abundant energy. Everything is connecting up, but tens are also about completion. So there is a good feeling of taking that gratitude in for work that you've done, completing a cycle, and knowing that new things are opening up. But I always love this card when it comes to, look at all the colors, look at the way everything is connecting. A really nice card for you. Feel that rainbow energy within you. Really offer yourself like, I've done this. I feel good about myself. I can move forward into this, all right? Really nice. All right, I got some thank yous here. All right, Maris, here we go. All right, this is a great card too, Nine of Pentacles, all right? So this card is really Pentacles, and this is really great too. Pentacles is our, our money, our earth, how we're working, how we're doing. Nines means there's something else coming in, all right? I think you kind of know that. You're on the edge of bringing that in, but look how it opens up, all right? Look how all these are lining up for you, and you can go deeper into who you are and bring this forward. Also, look at the reds and the yellows, passions, desires. So stand strong in your energy. All right, don't waver and bring it in. One more little thing is coming in for you right there, all right? Nines are almost but not done yet, so it's coming forward for you, all right? Great card, all right. All right, Jackie says, thank you. All right, love it, thanks, thanks. Yes, you just closed in your house. All right, excellent. So, so celebrate, honor that, because it's a lot of work, right? Honor that energy for you, okay? All right, let's see if there's anybody else. I don't think my, uh, seems like my Facebook feed is not quite working. But if you're on here on Facebook, let me know if you'd like a card. All right. Got a lot of thumbs up, some hearts. Thank y'all. Definitely. So again, check out the podcast, The Empowered Spirit Show. You can find it on my website, EmpoweredSpiritShow.com, or all your favorite podcast apps. It's a great way to really kind of balance your energy, 
do the meditation. Breath is important. We talk a little bit more about the energy coming up. All right. Again, Wild Unknown, if you want to learn tarot, come join us at Beacon Yoga and also Wednesday in the Facebook group. And then, of course, oh, I forgot. I start my restorative series, Ayurvedic and um, Cleansing for the Spring. All right. Four-week series of Birmingham Yoga. Wednesday, I'm going to be sharing my Instapot Kitchery recipe. So come, you get to taste it. It's a fun series and it will help you to balance and move forward into the spring energy. All right, everyone. Thank you so much. Follow, share, invite your friends, come into the group. 12 o'clock, I've been doing it in the, in the Facebook group, these Akashic Clearings. I love them. They're quite powerful. Thanks again for joining me. Happy spring. One more week of retrograde and then we'll all move out. All right. To your spirit. Namaste. Have a great week.